The next thing we're going to look at here are our worked examples. So for this one, notice that we have two different worked examples, but we're going to just look at this one first. And it comes up with this screen. Again, you've got instructions on how to use this. You've got your points bar. You've got peer assessment requests, which we'll look at in detail later. And you've got your questions, so no predictions for these. And on the right-hand side, you've got your worked examples. So it gives you a bit of an explanation. And then it sets up the actual question. And as we work through, it will actually take you through the mathematics of answering this question. OK, so these are really useful um, actual worked examples to see how the numbers are working. Now, these worked examples are simple examples. They're, they're things that you can uh, should be able to access straight away, which means that they're not too complex. They also don't auto-generate, so they don't give you new numbers every time. So sometimes what you might want to do is just try putting some different numbers or different situations into these to see if you can mix it up and change the question yourself. This will really help you learn and engage with the question. Once you've worked through the worked example, there are some questions on the left-hand side which you should have a go at answering. And I'll just type my answer here. And I'll click off that, and that will save my answer. See, when I come back to this, my answer is saved for later. OK, so that's the worked examples. And in this unit, you can see we've got two different worked examples, this one with more equations in there as well.